What's up? My name is Rod Benson. I wrote this book. It's called Different Dude. Uh, I figured I'd take a minute and explain how we got here. Let's start back like a year and a half ago. Uh, I knew I wanted to write a book and I kind of had the same ideas everyone else has had. Like it's going to be these beats, you got to find an agent, you got to... And that might have been two years ago. I started sending some emails out. So I meet two people almost at the same time. This uh, publisher, writer named Eric Schoenberg, uh, and a ghostwriter uh, named Aiden. Aiden's like, what do you want the book to be about? And I'm like, I don't want it to be, it's not about anything. And he's like, well, why not do like, try short stories and see if that works. And the other bit of advice I got was from Eric and he was like, this was just in general. It's like, Rod, I feel like you're very honest, but you're still arms distant. Uh, and so we started working on it. Uh, and it was really just me sending him like what I'd written, uh, some of the short stories. And then what, what really rang the bell, he was like, he's like, it, it has head and it has heart, but it doesn't have connective tissue. And I was like, oh damn, back to the drawing board on that one. But that was the last bit of advice I needed. You know, everyone wanted a sample. Like I'm talking to this agent, this agent, uh, hoping to prove to them to sell my book. And the process is you're supposed to write a certain amount. Uh, and when you do, then you have to do all this other shit, like list all your contacts and like write it like a description and a synopsis and like essentially come up with everything. But I was like, great, let me get this sample type first. So I went to New York to write the sample and I ended up writing the entire book in like three weeks in New York. And I was going through some things at the time. So some of these pages were written in a tobacco and weed filled room in Fort Greene. Some were written crying on a bench in Fort Greene Park. Some were written crying on the L train. Some were written at this random gallery in Brooklyn called Studio 111. But by like June 8th, I had it written out. And kind of the cool part, besides the mental crisis uh, <laughs> of going through old memories, uh, was that you know I was kind of also working on this philosophy thing on the side and using comic books to like explore deep uh, philosophies. There's so many things I liked about comic books that they ended up in really inspiring the book. And if you do get it, you'll see that there are different creative liberties taken, even in the audiobook, that give it a comic book feel. You're not going to feel like you're reading a comic book, but you don't really get bored with the right comic book because it, it breaks up the pacing in such a way. So I leave New York, I have this book, and now it's just tightening, 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 and I'm about to show it to you know, all the agents and stuff. And this is in the intro, but essentially I had a meeting where someone's like, if you haven't edited edit yet, then don't even, it's not a book. And oddly, I guess I'm a dude who takes a challenge weird, but from then on, I was like, I'm a self publish it. I've already done all the weird work that was required uh, in terms of like finding all these contacts, finding a way to sell it, finding a way to da 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 da. And then it was whew, off to the races. From August until like basically two weeks ago, I was either working on design, doing photo shoots, shooting shit like this, setting up the studio, sending out boxes, then recording the audiobook because I realized, oh, that's something I should also be doing myself as well. A lot of that process speaks for itself, but you know, this is the second title, all right? I mean, the title cover page. The first one was different. Uh, so, I mean, it looked good when I did it on the computer, but when I got it, I shot a reaction video of me opening the initial box of different dude books. And I never posted it because I, I wasn't expecting to not like it as much as I didn't like it. <laughs> I literally opened it and I was like, great, we got to get back to the drawing board because I want it to look like this. But now it's been a couple weeks. The reviews seem to be in, they seem to be positive. But a lot of people don't even really know what it's about. It's no longer about nothing. It's actually about everything. That note Eric gave me about connective tissue led me to understand that some truths are so universal that they're everybody's truths. The coolest thing about people reading this so far is that not a lot of athletes have yet, hasn't gotten on their radar yet. So people who've never played a sport, don't care about basketball, don't know me, are feeling like I told their story. But I did that by telling a million little basketball stories in random order that really deconstruct what basketball is because no matter what you've been working for your whole life 
especially something that started so early you can't remember choosing it. You probably got the same story as me. Different dude. It's everywhere. It's free on Spotify for some reason. Check me out, guys. Are you ready for a better life?